this will be the most investment you will do in your lifetime. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Arthur and I'm Marasai on TC. And today we're gonna talk about why you should start modding your first car and making that first car a cheap car. All right, so this is gonna be a quick video. I just give my opinion here, guys, on why I think you should start this way and what route you should take and things you should do before you start modding your car. I'm by no means a technician and I by no means know everything. But I just wanna give you guys my perspective and maybe you can relate and maybe you can, you know, take something away from this video. So with that being said, the first reason is it's a financial mistake, all right? As soon as you buy a car, it depreciates in value. So you don't wanna start with something that's super high end because it's gonna depreciate in value. And usually when people mod the car, it depreciates in value double the price because people don't know exactly what you have done to the car and they don't know if it's reliable. So the first reason for getting a cheap car is that money depreciation and resale value, all right? Which should lead us into the second reason. And the second reason simply is brands, all right? Certain brands are considered luxury and some are considered very reliable, which that plays a role in how much parts will cost for that car. So if you're looking into modding a BMW, then you have to be ready to pay BMW prices for those parts. Yes, if you're you know, somebody very smart and you know how to get deals, then hey, go for it. But if you're looking to start on a budget because you don't have that much money to spend, or you don't want to go all in because you don't know what you're doing, then I suggest getting a cheap car. Cheap brands such as Toyota, Scion, Honda, whatever it may be, a car that's not very pricey and that you can search up the parts and you will know they will not cost a lot to change whatever it is you want to change in your car, whether that's performance or whether that's aesthetics, whatever you may choose, all right? And then the third reason, which leads us right into it, is reliability. So obviously, a higher brand car that costs more money, again, BMWs, I'm speaking so much of them because my family does have BMWs and I know a little about them that I can relate to as well. So the reason is because cars like that with engineering so well built takes more care. So you gotta be prepared to do higher maintenance, which means higher price, which leads into the second reason now it's leading to the third. When you gotta do maintenance on a car and you wanna make it reliable, you don't wanna be spending too much money on car parts. So if you're trying to boost something and you already have that lower price tag on the car and the parts are cheaper, then you can make that car reliable to sustain the mods you're about to do to it. So if you're going for horsepower, you can fully rebuild the engine forced for a much cheaper price than it would be with something high-end or luxurious. You know what I mean? Because maintenance will play a role in that reliability as well. So that's the third reason, is having a car that's reliable to withheld or withstand the mods you choose to do to it. And then the fourth reason why you should get a cheap car as your first car to mod is because if you're just getting your feet wet into automotive and you don't know what you're doing or you just don't know enough to be able to do everything, you want to go with a car that's going to be easy to learn which usually tends to be the cheaper cars. So like a Honda, for example, a Scion, for example, Toyota, whatever it may be, it's a much simpler system to be able to build off of because like Hondas, they've been around for so long that, you know, parts are everywhere for these cars. And if you break something, then it's easily, you're easily able to replace it and learn uh, by replacing those parts if you want to try and learn it yourself. If you're trying to model yourself, boost it yourself, then being able to learn and get your feet wet into the car scene with a cheaper car, it's not gonna cost you as much money as breaking something that's super high end. So if I didn't explain that right, guys, if you have something high end and you break it and you're just getting your feet wet, you're gonna end up paying a lot more money to get that fixed than as it would be if you get a cheap, reliable car doesn't have to be 
as reliable, if you don't know what I mean. But getting a cheaper car that you can break and you can fix it and you can learn how to fix it for next time is a much better deal than paying triple the price for something high end that you most likely are gonna have to end up taking it to a mechanic. Which then again guys, the fifth and final reason on why you should start modding with a cheap car. Because in this world, cheaper cars means they're older and they have a lot more mileage. So with that being said, if you're saving up money by getting that cheap car, it gives you more money later on to play around. So let's say you get a car for $1,500, $1,500, right? And it's got almost 200,000 miles on the engine and you know that engine is not gonna last very long. So, because you got that cheaper reliable car, if you've been saving up because you want to mod your car, which is the reason for this video, you know what? What car should you first start modding? And why you should get a cheap car for that? It's because now you could have saved up money to either fix the engine with cheaper parts or not necessarily cheaper parts but the parts that you need will be sincerely cheaper and expensive car and also if you save up your money you could easily do an engine swap you could play around with your project and that's the purpose of it is that getting a cheaper car you can save up way more money to play around with it that's why you see a lot of people who are into modding cars for shows or whatever it may be they get a shell you know just a car with nothing in it and then they go and they look for what they want and it usually comes out being way cheaper than getting a super high-end hundred thousand dollar car and above you could build a super nice car for half of the price or even a quarter of that price if you know what you're doing so again guys i hope you took something from this video again my point that i'm trying to get across here is that a cheaper car for beginners is the better solution because it gives you more to play around with, more to learn, and if you break it, like I have with my Scion TC sometimes, axles going out for being too low and things like that, to replace it is not expensive as it would be for a higher or newer car. So again guys, thank you so much for watching this video, thank you for my new subscribers, thank you for everything you guys been doing. You guys are amazing. And if you took something from this video, let me know in the comments below. And if you guys haven't seen my Silent TC and the projects we're doing to it, make sure to check out the channel. You know, watch those videos, whatever intrigues you. And again, thank you so much, guys. I got mod content coming for you guys who are so close on the oil catch can and so close on the rear bumper and front bumper. You guys will be seeing that here soon. And with that being said, thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace!